Okay, we've pushed through and blocked the pawn, as we've mentioned before. Now we're attacking the pawn. At the same token, our piece is protected by a pawn. So we're going to defend this pawn here. We could have taken this. There, there are maneuvers that you can do, but let's just play it nice and steady. Reason now this bishop is attacking this knight because the opponent wants this pawn for free. So we can simply push this pawn to support this pawn. So we've got pieces supported each other. We've got pieces that are attacking pieces, but at this moment we're not comfortable taking it because it hasn't got any support. So we don't need to take it just because it's there. Now it's being defended, so we don't need to rush to do these things. We could bring our bishop through here so that we can get ready to castle. King safety, as mentioned previously. Keeping your king safe is paramount. You can leave it in the center so long as you feel comfortable that it is safe. Now we're being attacked by a pawn, a piece. So we may as well take this pawn off the board. There's no problems with that. So grab, now that pawn was attacking. So we can bring our bishop through into this position here because the knight can't take the knight because the bishop has an x-ray through to the king. So it's all being simplified and we're not we're not overexerting our position. It looks like our opponent is overextending. They've got the bishop out, they've got this knight out here, so they're overextending and we're looking to take advantage of any weak areas that they're giving to us. So we don't want to have to work too hard in order for them to do that. Now they're taking their time. Do they go and castle? Do they take this knight? Are they going to be too late to take the knight if they do go and castle? Yes, they will, because obviously we'll take their knight here. That brings their queen into the equation, into the center of the board. It's not really the place that the queen wants to be in. So I believe they'll take with the knight first so that then they're doubling our pawns. That would be the way that they'd want to work it. Don't panic if you're getting double pawns. Treat them as avenues. And he's actually moved the knight away. So it's gone backwards. So losing them a moment of movement, which they had an advantage in, I believed. So we can bring our knight across here now, attacking the bishop. Not much thought went into that, but it was the pattern that was shown. And they had attack formation. They've then given us a little bit of breathing space, so why not take advantage? But we've not overexerted because we're supported by a pawn. This knight supported by this pawn, supported by this bishop, the queen supporting the bishop here. So when you're starting out in chess, and even as you're progressing, you want to be thinking about those sort of things. So now the bishop's attacking our knight. So we can just take this bishop off the board. I'm not going to overthink it. The knight's taken. We can now push forward onto the knight. Got to be mindful now. This pawn here is attacked by the queen, will be attacked by the knight. This bishop is defending and we have a queen defending. So at this moment, we have enough pieces defending that particular area. So I think we'll just smaller piece attacking a higher piece usually can't be wrong. It's supported by this pawn, so it's again a strong attack from a smaller piece. At this moment, all our pieces are protected. Apart from the king, we really want to be castling, getting it to safety, getting the rooks activated. So like we said, we want the opponent to overextend um, which is what they're kind of doing. You know, they've come out with an attack here with the bishop, but they're not, they've also left the piece available to be attacked. So they've captured, so they're looking to get our queen off the board, so that's fine, we can capture this bishop. Mindful, he's still got this rook, which the knight is obviously going to take here, so do we take with the king instead or take with the bishop? Probably going to take with the bishop, so that then his knight does not get the pawn for free. have to be mindful of those little tricks this knight is um, ah, okay he's gone back so 
let's go and take the queen off the board and let's attack this rook here not putting much thought into that it's all simple processes and castle so it's the fight for owning this um, open file here so he's attacking this pawn if we push this pawn up which I see many times then obviously the knight takes this pawn because it's not got any support on so we could push up but then his rook is just going to take what are the options Op options are bringing the rook back here to support the pawn so it can do that quite easily not getting over anxious about the position on the board instantly my brain kind of went that's kind of a non move but it's obviously making space for these pawns coming down here so I'm going to bring this here attacking a piece attacking the knight where does the knight go it can go here it can go here attacking this pawn so it's probably going to come here to attack this pawn yep as we mentioned but has that weakened their position by them doing that that's the question going to bring this rook here just protecting for now simple protections now he's doing the dance uh, is he looking for his knight to come here he's not utilized any of these pawns like we thought and he's dancing with the knight trying to get into some space it's not going to go there the knight will take so is he potentially just looking to sit here but what trouble does that cause i think again he's defending the pawn yeah with the knight we can attack his um, knight with our piece here because at this moment this pawn is still being attacked so I'm actually going to attack with a smaller piece the knight so the knight potentially is going to this square not moving at all not moving at all so he's got free reign to jump here we can sit at our pawn here he just drops his pawn then we can come here if that's what we want to do or we can bring our bishop all the way back and be a ninja bishop or we could just take his knight off the board and what do we get for free his pawn so we'll take here and we're also on another pawn his rook is obviously going to be looking to come down somewhere to attack something so it must be looking to attack this pawn here this knight has this but he's still got this knight defending so let's take that out of our mental roller decks for now so coming here attacking this unprotected pawn would be because and plus he's owning this file as well and we haven't got a flight square for our king so back rank checkmate situations can come in quite speedily if we're not aware but he's actually defending the pawn hmm so we can't go and take the what well, we can and he takes or oh, we can own the file which is really quite key I'm surprised they've actually relinquished owning the file so he's now gone into defense more because he's defending this pawn but this pawn would probably better um, defend in there so we can double up the attack on this pawn here as you can see we're not doing anything magical at this moment and the back rank checkmate if we went rushing here on this side then he would get the back rank checkmate because our king doesn't have a flight square we could take this pawn but then his rook would take here if his rook takes there then we could come and take this pawn but then it's back rank checkmate so for a pawn for a pawn is it worth it so if we take his rook still comes here we can't do anything we have to give our king a fly square I'm going to take and give the king a fly square simple as that and if he comes back to defend then we're kind of I feel we're winning a tempo because there's potential threats here if we push up then we're on this pawn twice with the rook and the knight so I tried to weigh up the negatives and the positives out of taking that rook feels more positive 
doing it this way if the rook does come down and put a check on then we can just move the king simply up if he's then looking to come around the back it's doing that anyway so we'll go up if he's looking to come around the back we can bring our rook down or we can just simply take his pawn it's just he's got this far pawn here but our pawn is highly elevated he's looking for his knight to actually protect this square so I'm actually going to take the pawn and I'm going to push as we said this knight's going to come here because it's going to come challenging here back rank checkmate again I mean he's not got a flight square for his king so maybe we've got that potential threat so he's going for the one pawn first okay so we'll push up first his rook takes we'll go with the check on the king so we'll get the rook off the board because there's the king can't go anywhere the knight will probably block so then we'll get a queen then his rook takes so then we've got the rook and the knight is now pinned so now we can take the pawn this pawn in the corner is going to think it's getting a promotion but obviously it's not going to yeah like we said so um we can play it let's go this way just to be safe don't want to be sorry let's go here so it looks like the knight is probably coming off the board as well yep so the knight comes off the board let's grab here I don't think I want to give the knight up so I'll just move mosey on it down yeah, just move it out of the way This is, what, this is what you call being greedy. I'm just keeping the knight on the board. <laughs> when I don't really need to, you know, um, could really win quite nicely from this type of position. It's king can't come there, can't come there, can't come there. So he's going to have to leave the knight alone now while we scoop up some pawns. Okay, so let's scoop this one up because that's more dangerous. Let's put a check on the king. He defends and it's not much to think about really but just um, wait for the opponent to kind of resign really so that's the idea of chess just reminding ourselves of why we're here and it's keeping it simple keeping it real support the pieces get the pieces working together as a team and you're not going to go far wrong really Let's just get all these pieces off the board, seeing as the opponent's still playing. And uh, let's grab this before. Is there any stalemates? Nope. Okay, so he can still go up and down. He's got that little space there that he can go up and down, little squares there. Takes the rook. And that's probably kind of nearly all she wrote. Yep, there we go. Yep, so that basic idea of supporting your pieces, attacking key key spaces, key pieces, and as you saw throughout the whole of the game there really, it was about genuinely working the pieces together and trying to ensure that each piece had some type of support when it was doing some type of attack or um, defense and that's as simple as basic as you can get in learning how to play a chess and even when you're looking to improve your chess as well it's about maintaining those support mechanisms and team working